The purchase of Twitter by Elon Musk is a concrete step in understanding how the evolution of ideas can be turned into engineering a desirable future. Memetics and memetic engineering will play an increasingly fundamental role in a world dominated by artificial intelligence and advanced technologies. My name is David Orban and this is The Context. Technology is feeding on itself. It is the expression of our understanding of the world and how we can structure the implementation of this understanding in a way that serves our purpose. When technology accelerates, or as it is the case, the rate of acceleration is even increasing, ideas matter even more than before. Because ideas stop being just a theoretical, philosophical, academic set of discussions among people who dream of what could be, but never step into what they can do, either because they don't want to or they are not able to. When technology is available at an increasing level to everyone, that is when ideas are the fuel, the practical catalyst of what an increasing number of people can do, passing on a practical side and restructuring the world around them. When we talk about free speech, we are not only talking about what is worth talking about, but we are talking about what is worth doing. We have to develop the tools that enable us to better compare ideas that are worth implementing against ideas that are destructive, not only because we disagree with them, but because objectively, measurably, they decrease the quality of life of millions or billions of people. Ideas that preclude constructive futures to be developed. Ideas that diminish the probability of the light of consciousness pervading the universe. Does Twitter play such a fundamental role? Well, in the hands of a systemic thinker like Elon Musk, it can indeed play such a fundamental role. Think about how many ideas he needs to persuade a large number of people to embrace, to adopt. The consequences of the implementation of these ideas as they change and restructure the world. Moving civilization to renewable energy is an urgent task. How many people are still under the impression that electric cars are not worth using because batteries cost money and provoke CO2 emissions as they build them? because the source of electricity of electric cars can be itself polluting the environment. And a number of other arguments that can and are debunked over and over again, but still they take root in the minds of people who as a consequence are slower to react and slower to embrace these technologies that can and will transform the world, moving us 
to renewable energy, to sustainable economy. And if it is possible to preempt uh, these false arguments taking root in them, or to debunk the false arguments more efficiently so that they can change their minds, especially if we are talking about regulators and lawmakers, well, that is a battle worth fighting. That is a platform for the fight of these ideas that is worth improving and refining. What about the desire to make spaceflight more economic in order to be able to move a larger mass on orbit, in order to build um, an armada of a thousand starships, each potentially bringing a hundred people every two years, a hundred thousand people every two years to Mars. Is that a crazy idea? Well, for now, definitely it is. And there need to be a thousand steps before uh, this science fiction uh, dream becomes reality. And then when it does, well, there will have to be a hundred thousand volunteers either paying or being sponsored uh, to pay a hundred thousand dollars each for the perilous journey to arrive to a dangerous destination to conduct a period of time or maybe all their remaining lives uh, in a hostile environment. So talk about a big hurdle in persuasively spread an idea. And Twitter will be a platform for spreading this kind of idea. Well, or think about a challenge which may be even greater. When Neuralink, uh, the company that is developing brain-computer interfaces that are going to be implanted in disabled people first, shows that the use of their interface is beneficial and after having helped the lives of thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people uh, radically improve through uh, the overcoming of their disability, when Neuralink, after those steps, is going to start offering the brain implant as a better input-output interface to communicate with computers and with artificial intelligence, that will be a quiet fundamental step in understanding what it means to be human, what it means to um, merge with the technology at a rather intimate level. And when that is um, accepted, potentially, through the persuasive power of memetic engineering, the battlefield of ideas that fight and establish what is a desirable future that we want to build that improves the quality of life and the opportunities of billions of people, there will be another step still. What if at that point humanoid robots are available and they potentially enable to live alternative lives, alternative not only sequential but potentially parallel lives, where one of these robots lives in, on Mars, another uh, on the Moon, and a third a, well, maybe in a form that is not humanoid at all, but bringing a human or human-like consciousness goes and explores the stars. How will we relate to the possibility of our own consciousness 
inhabiting one or more of these bodies? What will be the conversations that we are going to have when these are going to be real possibilities? Now, some of this will never happen, possibly. But can we afford not talk uh, about them? Can we afford to not debate in a healthy, open, uh, energetic, but civilized manner? Can we afford not to build the necessary defenses against those ideas that we establish are harmful instead of being beneficial? Now, is Twitter going to be the final platform where the science of memetics and memetic engineering turn into concrete day-to-day -day reality? Probably not. But the experiment of more rapidly improving the platforms than the current management and the current set of employees have been able, under the relentless uh, drive that Elon Musk has been able to instill in the other companies that he owns as well, and similarly now he is going to instill in Twitter too, is absolutely worth it. There has been a satirical tweet that said Elon Musk and Tesla have already concluded an agreement with Twitter to use the natural language processing um, AI model that Twitter has in analyzing conversations to improve Optimus, the forthcoming Tesla robot. And while that tweet was satirical without any basis in reality, well, that kind of synergy and that kind of integration among the various companies that Elon Musk uh, builds is natural. So it may become actually reality. Uh, I want to thank uh, PJ Manny uh, for the online conversations uh, that uh, stimulated this line of thinking. I believe that uh, under Elon Musk's ownership, uh, Twitter will accelerate our ability to understand what kind of debates, what kind of platforms, what kind of tools we need in order to accelerate or even increase the rate of acceleration of our ideas. We must understand what works, what does not work, and with our increased ability to turn ideas into action, being able to do so is something that everyone should aspire to acquire. So let's hope that Twitter will be a step in the right direction under its new ownership to achieve that goal. Thank you.